Well, I want to invite you to our services tomorrow. We're looking at Hebrews, and you'll be uh, excited about what's going on in the East. Today, on this last day of the week, we're going to look at Zechariah 11.2. Wail, O Cyprus, for the cedar has fallen, because the glorious tree has been destroyed. Wail, O oaks of Bashan, for the uh, imperial forest has come down, or impenetrable forest also has come down. I want you to see something, folks. We may think that we live in a day and time and in a country where it's not penetrable, but it is. And we often have those people that uh, are in places of, of the uh, high muckety-mucks in the, in the places of the imperial uh, selected people. You know, uh, there was a lot of the forest, especially in olden times, uh, uh, old scripture that was set aside for the temple, set aside for the things of, of, of uh, the uh, great duties, and, and even for the kings. The kings didn't use... Uh, the, the small stuff, they used the best materials they had for their palaces and stuff. But I want you to notice something, that when the trees start to fall, and when the woodcutter comes into the forest, nothing's safe and no one's safe. In our day and time, the scripture is a little hard to get a handle on. Yet the message is worth the effort to see this meaning. When the forest there is heard the crash of the falling oak, it is a sign that the logger is at work, and every tree in the whole forest is on the alert as they are at risk of the sharp edge of the woodcutter's axe or saw. Wow. What we're seeing and what we're told in this scripture is he's saying, now look, nations, look, other nations are falling. Other nations are in trouble. And as other nations fall, the great United States of America may think that we're above reproach and that we would never fall folks i'm sorry but if we go down the path that some would have us go down we're going to fall just like argentina just like all those nations that have cuba has not got out of the 50s why because of socialism and because they do not reward those that work hard the way they should be. I want you to understand something, folks. Today, we're seeing nation after nation in trouble, especially with this COVID. Look across. All the, every time you turn on the news, you see nations that are, that are uh, shut down. A nation shut down could not survive. And the United States of America is not going to get out of that. We are all like trees marked for the axe. And the fall of one should remind us that our, everyone, rather great as the cedar, imperial, as the cedar, or humble as the fir, the appointed hour is getting closer and closer and closer. And also on an individual basis. Every time you turn on the news and every time you look around, somebody's got the COVID. Somebody close to you may have it. We better start getting right with God. We better start getting where we need to be. <clears throat> this is one of eight visions that's often forgotten, this often forgotten prophet gives. This is his last vision. It is the last and has this one God reveals that all nations will be judged. And that's the whole point of why uh, we see this and why we see it in our scripture today. We see this often unread prophet, often quiet prophet. He's saying all nations are going to be judged. No nation is so established and no nation is so strong they won't fall. Go back and look at the Old Testament. Go back and look at those places and those nations and those cities that fell. God gave the eight visions to encourage and motivate his people to complete the resurrection of the temple. And that's what this book's all about, Zechariah. Time stops for no one. 
And we, in our time, look around these days of COVID, how many nations are in danger of falling. We better get busy building for God while there's time. We better get busy doing what God has for us to do. <clears throat> your temple is your body. Are you using it for the glory of God? Are you building it for the glory of God? I worry as I read this text because I think that there are many that think our nation can't fall. We have to take this message to heart for the impenetrable global forest has come down. Pray for our nation today. Pray for our nation. Don't get fret, uh, uh, don't get to where you lose the peace that God gives you. But understand something. No nation is above God. Not even the United States of America. Your gracious Heavenly Father, please be with our nation. And please be with us, Lord. As we pray for our nation this day. Be with our president. Be with our leaders in the Senate and the House and the judicial system orchestrate everything according to your will please God please let our nation quit being worried about hate mongering and start looking to you in Jesus name we pray